How's it going guys? I'm Jamie the Comic. Now you may remember that I reviewed the Digimon movie. Now when I did that I did so on a DVD that I had to return and it's always bothered me that I no longer had the VHS in my possession. So I did what anyone else had to do in that situation. I had to go out and get it again. And not just because the design just screams my childhood and nostalgia for me, but it contains something that not many media companies had back then. They didn't embrace it then and most still don't even embrace it now. And that is, it contains a CD-ROM. But as you're looking at this case, you may be wondering, where does the CD go? It certainly doesn't fit in here. And you're right, normal size discs wouldn't be able to fit. In fact, they are exactly the same width as the case. An eight centimeter mini disc would fit, but this isn't a mini disc. This is a rectangle disc. Thank you for joining me on a new segment I like to call This Was A Thing. Now these shaped CD-ROMs were mainly used as interactive business cards. They held info that today would be normally found on the company's website. They were also used as a state symbol to say, Ooh, look at me, my company is cutting edge. We don't use paper, we use CDs. Ooh. Even though the printed side of it normally contained their details, such as the name, the telephone number, the email address. It was a concept that nearly died out until one marketing genius came up with this idea. If we take a mini 8cm CDR, you are looking around 250 megabytes of data. We can see the data section of this disc is the same height, but the corners are simply ignored as they are dead space as the laser inside cannot read this far. But even with that, you may be thinking that it must be able to hold at least half of that. Well, with these shaped discs, you'll be lucky if you can fit around 50 megabytes onto them. So, as you can imagine, you won't exactly be seeing GTA 6 put onto these things. Sure, it's not mind blown by today's standards, but if you're a 10 year old kid who had to use your neighbor's computer because your own family didn't have one at the time, then this non circle disc was just mind blowing. Yeah, I didn't even know my next door neighbors at the time, but my parents did, and they asked if I could use their Windows 98 PC just to play one hour of this disc. I ended up staying for three hours. And when I'm about to show you what's on this disc, you're gonna wonder, how did I spend that long? Because as an adult, it certainly isn't worth three hours. But before I do get started, I just want to give a shout out to the team who sold me this, the Gaming Squad eBay store. This isn't sponsored by them and I'm not receiving any discounts or monetary value in any fashion, but I was so impressed with their communication when I was asking them questions about this VHS, it would be criminal not to mention it because I've worked in customer service for so many years and I know all the bad, negative and nasty people are very easy to come by. But the positive response that you get is as rare as diamonds. So you've earned those five stars. So thank you so much, guys. One more thing, because this made me laugh back then and still does now. Lots more Digimon coming to video soon. Is it though? Is it really? Are you referring to the last two tapes that skips three quarters of the first season? Sorry, I'm ranting. Let's get on with the disc. Hear how loud that was? I'm not sure if it was loose or not, but it span like that for roughly a minute and I honestly thought it was going to shatter in the tray, so I ejected it, I put it back in, and it worked straight away that time. But we ran into an issue. The Digimon event you've been waiting for is now on video. All right! <gasps> Digimon, the movie. Digimon, Digital Monsters, Digimon, 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 Digimon. There we go, much better. So the disc boots up and you're greeted with a trailer for the Digimon movie on VHS. Wait, didn't we need to buy the movie in the first place to get this disc? Why are they advertising it again? Once we finish the trailer or skip it, we are greeted with the ever great Digivap. 
Here on the menu, we are given four options. Lend video, games, Digifun, and character profiles. Character profiles are just as you would imagine. The thing that bugs me about this though, is that the movie trailers were advertised in the Our War Game section of the movie. But the VHS box and the character BIOS all feature Adventure Zero 2's characters. And the main reason for this is because the disc is just loaded with whatever was on Fox Kids website at the time. But like I said, I never had a computer at the time, so as a kid I never knew any better. Next, let's take a look at the Digifun section. It's just colouring in sheets and a maze that you can print out. But this is the year 2021. I don't have a printer. But I do have something that Windows 98 didn't. A printer PDF feature. This will be my greatest challenge yet. Of all the things I have given up on, this cannot be one of them. I must believe I can do this. I will reach my goal. No. Let's try this again. I am getting closer. I can feel my victory. Alas, this time was not meant to be. But this time will be my last, and it will end in triumph. I am five layers down. Each turn I edge ever closer. Yes, yes. Oh. Hmm. Let's go back. <sighs> Let's go back first. This is what I will be known for. This is my masterpiece. Look at it! There were also some wallpapers and a screensaver you were able to download, but the buttons would just link you to a page on the Fox Kids website where you would be able to download them. While I couldn't find the screensaver or any screenshots or videos of it online, I was able to find some, not all, but some of the wallpapers you could have downloaded. They are not in high quality, so I won't be showing you where you can download them, unless you don't mind 240p wallpaper on your 4K monitor. In which case, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Now, I don't actually remember this section, so let's take a look at the Len video. Oh, it's Len's cover of Kids in America that was featured in the movie. God, the animation is so choppy. I hope this wasn't the official music video because it's just... Ugh. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't even know who Len are outside the Digimon movie. Let's have a look. Okay, so the character depictions closely resemble their album cover personas, so that's cool. Looking at their Wikipedia page, they are a Canadian alternative rock duo. Right, I take it that the others are just their backup musicians. But have you ever considered this for a second? A Canadian artist is singing Kids in America for a movie soundtrack that features characters from Japan but I guess it's allowed because they went to America for an unsupervised vacation. So that makes them cool. Wait, Len won awards? Three of them for the same music video? The 90s were a simpler time. And finally, the main event, the game section. Ah, they missed a chance to call it Digigames. We have two here. The first one I'm looking at is Digicannon. Can you help TK rescue the Poemon babies? Use the Digicannon to launch the Digimon across the gap. Don't forget to watch out for the changing wind. Okay. Fire! Pretty simple yet addictive game. You get a cannon and a target for you to launch your Poemon onto. With the wind changing all the time, it does get more difficult as the game progresses. The catch is landing on the board is not enough. You have to score a perfect 10 in order to quote unquote save them. The second game and very last part of this disc is Quest to Save the Net. You can pick up either Argumon or Tentamon as they are flying through the internet tunnel. You have Digi Spiders to kill with your email projectiles and you need to avoid debris. You can refill your ammo by flying into the mailbox power up. Survive long enough and you can digivolve it if you answer a trivia question correctly. Gobblemon wears his Garumon's fur coat because he's shy, cold, or scared. I'm gonna pick cold. Wait, that's wrong? What's the real reason? Gobblemon is shy? Oh, that's so sad. Wait. Is that why Matt's crest for him is friendship? Because he no longer feels shy and he gets his strength from his friends? Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. I'm not even joking. I just found this out today and I'm having a crisis right now. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, Galvamon! Sorry for being distracted. Back onto the game. Get the question wrong and you move on to the next level without the Digivolve. Digivolving acts like a second life because if your health reaches zero, you can continue with your rookie Digimon instead. If you survive your soul destroying questions and survive long enough, you can get a chance to take on Inframon. If you fail by losing all of your life, you are treated to an 8 year old's drawing telling you how much you suck. But if you beat him, you are treated to a congratulations screen that would make the angry video game nerd proud. Congratulations, you saved the internet. We deem you king of the information superhighway. Well, thank you for joining me as we took a quick look at the Digimon movie interactive CD-ROM. Despite its primitive nature, we can all look back in awe at its very existence as we let out a breath of relief and go, ah, that was a thing. Thanks for watching. See you around. Until next time, have a good one.